Hi guys, it's me Joe and Bill just robbed a bank. <laughs> In order to escape justice, he decides to go to Antarctica where he'll live a lonely life. Now that Bill has gone to live in a more socially isolated environment, what will happen to him? We'll find out in this video. So recently I found some research and experiments on social isolation and here they are. Harry Harlow would take newborn baby monkeys away from their mothers and put them in solitary. The monkeys were often depressed and in the state of emotional shock. Harry Harlow attempted to recover the monkeys by placing them with normal monkeys. The attempt of recovery often fails. Social isolation seemed to have a long-term effect on the monkeys. Around the 1950s, Dr. Heap conducted a crazy experiment on the effects of social and sensory isolation. The experiment was supposed to last for a week, though most test subjects didn't even last a day. The test subjects experienced extreme hallucination. One man said he could see nothing but dogs. The other said he could see nothing but various types of eye glasses. After the experiment, the subjects performed poorly on academics, had weak emotions, and some even still experienced vivid hallucination. The effects of the experiment had a long-term effect on the subjects. Sarah Short was a hiker who crossed the border into Iran and was accused of spying. She was then sent to a solitary prison. She experienced extreme hallucination in the prison. Once, she said, she saw flashing lights through her peripheral vision, only to turn around and see nothing was there. According to psychiatrist Terry Coopers of the Wright Institute's research, solitary confinements can make the subjects become anxious, angry, hallucinate, have dramatic mood swings, and even become suicidal. From all this research, it is clear that social isolation can only harm us. It can make us depressed, angry, anxious, lower our immunity, make us suicidal, and in some cases, even kill us. After all, we are social creatures. From the beginning of our existence, we realize the importance of socializing and working together. Despite the fact we have high technology nowadays, there are still people who are socially isolated. So people, stay connected, work together. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.